Jeff, let's start with you on what they were. What do we say about the performance of Josh Allen last night? Special. Wow. Listen, he played absolutely lights out last night. And you watch him, whether he was in the pocket, whether he was buying time and extending plays, getting outside the pocket, he was lethally accurate, man. I mean, you you talk about just a guy who had poise and had confidence in what he was doing, trusting his receivers to make plays, but whether they were trying to run zone or man, he, he exploited it all. And I tell you, last night, you saw why the Buffalo Bills are so high on Josh Allen. This is a good defense he beat up on. Listen, at all three levels, the San Francisco 49ers are legitimate. He took advantage at all three levels. Very special performance by Josh Allen last night. Greg, through a quarterback size, what did you see? He's amazing, guys. I'm seeing this guy move off the spot. The last couple of years in the league, he was a runner. I mean, that's who he was. He was a great athlete playing quarterback. Well, now he's become a great quarterback that is also an athlete. His ability to move off the spot and be athletic at the position. The guy's got top 10 legs at the position in the NFL. And he might have top mm. five arm talent. His ability to move and, and take advantage on first and 10 is ridiculous. First and 10, you're keeping the 49ers off balance throughout the entire time of the entire game. And how about 2015 Cam Newton? I would say that was a pretty good year, guys. I don't know if you all recall. But if you look at the numbers <laughs> and how they stack up through 12 games, Josh Allen is actually significantly better than Cam Newton was in his MVP season. Touchdowns, completion percentage, total yardage are all very comparable. And the fact that he takes care of the football, he's Cam Newton but more accurate. It's remarkable to watch this young man's development. Sorry, spectacular, no question about it. So, Chris, I'll come to you here. We saw Pittsburgh stumble, but they're 11 and one. The mm -hmm. Chiefs have just one loss. I, I think we'll give those two the top spot right now in the AFC. Mm -hmm. Are the Bills next? Yeah, I think the Bills are the third team in the AFC. And after watching what we saw yesterday, you could probably make a case that they're the second best team in the AFC mm. just based on their resume. They got quality wins against the Dolphins, the Rams, the Raiders, the Patriots, and the Seahawks. So when you look at this football team, even when they don't play at their best, they find ways to win. And the three losses that they have, no shame in those against Kansas City, Tennessee, and a Hail Mary against Arizona. So what you're telling me is the college football playoff committee would be very impressed with very their resume. Very impressed with this <laughs> resume. But here's the thing. Josh Allen we were waiting for the evolution of the player. The physical gifts have never been a question. He went through a little bit of a lull in the middle of the season after getting off to a terrific start, but now we're seeing him start to come back around, and just the way that he picked apart that defense for the 49ers, really impressive. And as I said, they get Pittsburgh in their place in Orchard Park this Sunday night, so uh, they will be able to prove it once again. So those are the games last night. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.